Hello guys, this is Darshan again. So I'm going to uh, talk about this editing that we I did today uh, and the method which is called selective coloring using Lightroom local adjustment tools like a, a paint brush tool or or spot cleaning tool. So uh, actually it's not a typical selective coloring which we use in Photoshop but this is a small workaround using Lightroom mm, as you guys know I don't know Photoshop that much so I use Lightroom for most of my editing so I'll show you how did I edit this thing so you can see this picture that I took at a fair near local county um, it's 5 second exposure at f22 so 100 and if I'm not mistaken it was taken using Canon 50D so here is what I'm gonna do uh, I'm going to first of all uh, reduce highlights in this picture or excuse me first of all create a virtual copy so you are copying the entire picture so you can do editing and do not harm the original one so reduce the highlight so I'm reducing any unwanted glare or any unwanted blown out part of the entire shot I'm increasing the shadows so I can see all the details which are hidden in the shadows. You will have some bright spots here and there but you can you can deal with them later on. So what I can do here now is I'm going to take this adjustment brush. I'm going to click on saturation setting. And I'm going to reduce the saturation slider all the way to minus 100. Then what I'm going to do is increase the size of the brush no feathering no masking and what I'm going to do is when I use this adjustment brush you can see it is going to convert everything into black and white the reason is we reduce the saturation to minus 100 so that means it will paint the entire picture black and white let's see there you go all right did I miss any spot nope okay that's good so we use that and now we want to paint this thing blue so actually we don't paint it we just erase whatever we painted whatever the part that we want in color we can erase that specific area out of the entire painted picture so here is what we do I am going to reduce the size feather is 100, flow is 100, auto mask, density is 100 and you can see here okay see it see the color all right okay and let's paint this one also so this one also has some color it look interesting right here and what we can do here is You see that so we are just painting this one okay and still do some erasing okay and I think we are good so that's it then click on the adjustment brush again so it will close the adjustment brush all right so you can see pretty much selective coloring ferris wheel or giant wheel and now we make the adjustment into the entire picture increase the contrast hold alter key and increase the white until you see some white pixels all right let's see so right here you can see some pixels right okay then reduce the black until you see the black right here that's fine so you can have the typical contrast and then what I am going to do is I'm going to increase the clarity as I like it a lot 200 I'm going to increase the vibrance 
so I have a nice vibrant blue color I'm going to play with the white balance temperature look at the effect of white balance is that good? alright so again one more thing I'm going to do here I'm going to change a little bit in our HSL hue saturation and luminance so saturation I'm going to increase blue as I see blue a lot and then luminance I'm going to darken it a bit now the other colors that I see is like yellow so let's see increase the yellow uh, saturation I think I should be okay Ooh. here you go perfect mm -hmm. so yeah this is fine this is I think this is fine this is fine and let me see if I can change anything in white balance okay yeah, this looks much better this looks colorful and if I change anything here Mm, no let me go to my color because you can see all those things are coming back so right and then okay so you may want to go back to the green yellow okay saturation yellow go to zero so you don't have anything of that and I think that's pretty much good now we have some spots here and there left oh, like if you see this one I don't like so let's see okay okay I can what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our spot removal tool like this and what it will do it will clone the whatever the source that you tell it uh, to the same place so it is going to clone the source to this target that is done so I think we, we did remove that uh, glare out there and I think I can see still some white spot right here so I'm going to use this adjustment brush again and here I'm going to use the contrast instead of saturation the contrast amount is 100% and I'm going to reduce the size so I don't and I'm going to paint this entire thing if you can see this thing going away so I think we are pretty much done here um, let's see how does it look in full screen I'm going to hide this panel and then I'm going to press F for full screen um, again I need to close the adjustment brush so you don't see all the spots alright here you go and press Y for before and after and this is what you have and you can export press Y again so you will have the original original image and you can export um, using press F again so it will come out from full screen and then export and put your signature or put your logo or watermark and that's how we do selective coloring so that's pretty simple uh, it, it can be done in five or ten minutes maximum and you can do whatever you want you can you can have some colors popped up and rest of them will be black and white um, or whatever you want you know I can show you some of the tricks next time uh, till then um, have a nice day